Hi guys and welcome. If you're thinking about start your own business, definitely Shopify can be the spot for do that. Um, because it's one of the biggest and one of the most famous platforms in the world where you can buy and sell goods. Uh, and there's a lot of people using it. This video definitely can be handy for you if you're starting to uh, make your own business. And in this video, I want to highlight uh, the main things, the core knowledge that you need to know uh, and all the things that you will use to start your own business. I want to try to make this video as short as possible because I saw all those one hour long, two hour long videos, tutorials about uh, how to start a Shopify. Uh, I don't want to waste your time. That's why um, I will show you all the things fast, easy uh, and uh, pretty understandable and clear. So to start the step number one, uh, you need to um make your own account for that you need to find the link in the description panel of this video jump to shopify and start a free trial first you need to provide the platform with your email address password and your store name and that can be a little bit difficult because there's a lot of um online stores available in shopify and all the nice shop good store and best shop definitely occupied and platform will say to you um, so you better create some uh, more interesting and more specific uh, store name I will not show you how to pass the registration because it's very simple and easy the platform itself will ask you you making this uh, website for yourself or for your client you selling goods already or you just starting to um, you have an income or you don't have an income you will figure out it and it takes like less than three minutes that's why I'll jump straight to inside of the platform because I already created this account just to show you all the process and all the things that you'll see uh, on the blank account and all the things that you need to take care of and we are inside the platform that how it looks uh, so there are three steps for even steps first step is uh, actually to get a trial version the second step is to add a product uh, third is the customized theme and fourth is add a domain home orders products customers analytics marketing discounts and apps uh, it's pretty it's pretty clear but let's take a fast overview about that home is a page that you can see right now is at a product customized theme and at a domain uh, also international traffic uh, and uh, you can explore YouTube channel of Shopify to get more information about how to sell how to set up all the things uh, there's Shopify compass get started in Shopify a lot of tutorials and a lot of educational materials available in this um, on this platform and you will figure out if you just uh, complete zero in the Shopify you will figure it out for sure using all those um, educational materials because they are very and very cool powerful and uh, really useful orders this is the place where you're gonna see all the orders so the drafts and abundant checkouts products this is the spot where you need to add all your new products find the existing products uh, inventory you need to uh, you need to take care about the inventory because uh, if you have a lot of stuff a lot of things a lot of items uh, you need to apply all the inventory things here and when you enable inventory tracking on your products you can view and adjust their inventory counts here pretty clear and understandable transfers if you have new incomes of uh, of the items you can make all those inventory transfers here collections uh, this is a very interesting spot and very interesting tool for sales uh, you can display all your collections to your customers on your website uh, if you have a couple items uh, to combine the collection that can be great and that can be cool uh, and definitely it's very powerful and interesting tool gift cards pretty clear and understandable even will not say to you what is the where are those manage customer details um, all the customers that made a purchase at your 
online shop will be displayed here and all the purchase history will be displayed here analytics this is absolutely macro and you need to uh, you need to consider this information while you're running your business and this is very very cool that this site has such powerful analytics really powerful reports and live view and so on uh, or if you want to uh, if you want to use extra analytics you can switch on the google analytics platform also here and i will show it to you in just a minute as an overview uh there's a campaigns you can run ad campaigns straight from here uh, and straight from this spot and automations this is um actually the things that will let you sleep while your online shop will work for you and there's a lot of interesting uh, interesting tools and applications, for example, Snapchat ads, SMS bump marketing. Can you imagine you sending an SMS to your client or to your potential client uh, and it's straight on his cell phone and it's very, very cool. And uh, there's a lot more marketing apps and not only marketing apps and you can find all those in this apps and in a collection of applications that you can add to uh your shop depending on the type of business that you're running depending on the mm, uh, type of uh, items that you're selling and so on and so on and quantity and and if you need those tools or you don't need those tools it depends and uh but definitely if you will build a big huge uh, shop with a lot of items to sell definitely those uh, applications can be really and really powerful and useful for your business so we jump into online store you see there's an online store here and sales channels right now only online store is available but we can uh, switch on more sales channels we're not talking about them in this video but i just want to show you this opportunity and you know that you can switch on point of sale free to add point of sale uh, fees may apply so and in general in any any type of um, extra sales channels uh, they can mm, they can take a fee for sales but it's absolutely legal it, and it's usual uh, usual picture for um, for all the online shopping and online selling thing so online store themes uh, you can customize the theme, but first of all, you see that online store is password protected. To disable the password, you need to switch on a plan. Yeah, you need to pick a plan. Let's find out what are those. $29 per month is a basic Shopify. Uh, consider that 2% is transaction fee. And uh, if you will buy uh, the plan for 79, it will be 1% or 299. 0.5% uh, transaction fee and this is one of the most important part actually uh, of course if you have a big shop you need a lot of uh, staff and you have 15 staff accounts and so on it like it depends on the type of your business is it big or small you just starting if you're starting definitely it's better to use a trial version of the site to set up everything first and after just um, uh, choose a plan and buy the plan so we jump in down to online store themes a lot of people making the same mistake with uh, Shopify they are uh, building their online stores on default themes and a lot of people who jump in in their uh, shop like it's absolutely clear that this shop is built like not from the ground it's built and uh, not with a design not with a pretty design it's built just on a template that that is straight default uh, so i suggest you to use other theme okay there's a theme library and uh, you can discover a lot of free themes that you can use to build your own shop and uh, for example shopify theme store let's visit it for a second and I will show it to you that a uh, lot of things are pre-made here and a lot of things really uh, that looks beautiful, that looks professional. A uh, lot of industry types, see all industries, 
Look at that list. So you can find suitable for your type of business. You can find the suitable uh, theme, but there's a th uh, the price for the theme is, for example, 170 bucks, 180. Uh, and uh, it can be not cheap, but you can sort it by free, for example, and you have just one free theme in the electronics. But maybe there are a lot. Yeah, there's a free nine free themes <clears throat> and so on. Like you can use all those to make your uh, your website to make your um, shop like unique. We're jumping back to the themes and, and actually it doesn't matter which one, uh, which theme you will choose. Uh, definitely the editing features are pretty the same and I will show it to you. It's not drag and drop as you may uh, see in other website building platforms. Now, it's like classic website with a header and footer. It's not, uh, of course, it's not the landing page. Now, it is uh, fully, fully powered like website with all the things um, and you can move those sections, move those blocks between themselves to make the shape that you want. Uh, and you cannot, like it's a little bit unusual that you cannot manage things with a double click here, uh, as you can in other mm, website building platforms. But everything that you wanna change, you may change here in the left hand menu. And it's pretty understandable and clear in all the settings, you'll figure it out. It just depends on type of your business and what you're uh, planning to sell. Uh, of course, this is a great opportunity to use uh, free images that, uh, that are available on the platform. And if you don't have your own content, for example, for your mm, maybe cafe, maybe you have a pizza uh, and here you go, maybe you're just starting and you didn't have a physical physical product yet, or uh, you just don't have money maybe to launch um, with a professional made great content. You can use those free images here uh, and it's gonna be great. So everything that you can change, you can change here. You can delete a section. To delete a section, you need to jump into the section and you have remove section button here on the bottom, or you can add a section that you may need in your website from the add section button. And there are tons of interesting things that you can add. Uh, we jump in out of here and we go into products. And I want to show you that if you're pressing add a product, you can uh, you can see that it's not drag and drop at all. You need to type the title. You need to describe your item using the keywords because this is very important to search engine machines here in this spot. A lot of people using images and videos straight here in the description, and I suggest you to use the media. Uh, you need to set the pricing. For example, it's 100 for the item. I don't know which item is that compared to price, for example, to 150, um, it will be crossed here. Cost per item, now, if you using the drop shipping method, it can be handy. For example, it's going to be 28. Uh, you buying it for 28 and selling it for 100 is margin 72% and profit. You see uh, charge tax on this product. You can charge tax if you in US and you need to charge uh, tax on this product inventory. Um, quantity, how much available and so on. You need to take care about all of those. And after that, you can launch your product and you can sort them your product with collections. I will not show you how to create collections. You'll figure out if you need the collection in general. So you will not be able to sell without a select a plan. So you need to select a plan it's, again, basic, basic Shopify is 29 uh, Shopify recommended of course it's recommended 79 and advanced is 299 uh, dollars per month so it's up to you uh thanks for watching this video i hope you enjoyed i hope this was useful and uh, i hope you will launch your own business in shopify very fast and easy and without an extra efforts and you're gonna get a big profits thank you so much have a great day as i promised not wasting your time at all thanks
bye bye see you in the next video